you can just do like baselines and arpeggiators also can create beautiful amazing stuff um, but uh, let's kind of derive the arpeggiation from the chord so we'll first talk about the chord progressions and everything i'm going to load just another instance of wavetable and we're going to make a basic sound here again with a long release uh, some unison and a saw wave let's turn it down and let's also create another envelope that is very plucky and will apply to the filter so again go to the matrix click on the filter we can see it at the bottom and this time we're going to take envelope number two and let's make the envelope a bit slower bit more unison, less amount. Okay, we'll keep it simple for now. Now, one thing I can add just to have more kind of a vintage vibe, and this is another free plugin, although you can use Ableton stuff, another free plugin, um, it's called Memory. It's like a chorus effect. So this is too much, let's take down. Okay, excellent. Um, let's talk about chord progression. So first of all, I would recommend first choosing a scale and working within that scale. This style doesn't really have to do any jazzy stuff of going out of key, but it might use some chord extensions or suspended chords in the chord progression. So we'll talk about everything, but we'll do an overview of the music theory, but I would recommend uh, just choosing a key, sticking to it, and thanks to Ableton, since Ableton 10, I think, or 11, we can scale the clip so we can only see the notes of the scale, so we don't even have to choose the wrong notes or notes that are not in key. The chord progressions tends to be very pop-influenced, uh, basic, nothing too crazy, you should keep it basic, but I do see a lot of voice leading, meaning that we do have a chord progression, but the chord notes don't really move too much. That's also, it's very associated with the style. So uh, there is a website called Hook Theory, and they have a list of all the popular chord progressions. You can literally take something like that, choose a key, take a simple chord progression, and you're good to go there, okay? Um, so let's see, for example, uh, what kind of vibe are we feeling today? A major key, a minor key? Anyone? Let's go. What? Say minor. Minor. Okay. Let's go minor. So we'll keep it simple. We'll go with the kind of classic minor scale, which is A minor. Okay. Right here, A minor. Let's turn on scale. Sweet. After I turn on scale and chose A minor, I'm also going to go and click on scale. So I only see the notes of the scale in the MIDI clip. Now, first of all, let me solo just the wavetable. I'm going to hit S so I don't have to even go there. Uh, I just want to show you that. Usually I don't go away from this window, just hit S and it solo this track okay nice now um chord progression can be anything um we got just gotta remember we have one let me turn on this one two three four five six seven that's our seven uh, chords that we can create and each chord will be or a minor or a major or diminished one of them and we can alter them if we like with uh, to be suspended to be seventh chords nine chords and so on so if we start simple we can go just uh let's do the root note first okay so maybe we start with one which is a and then throw me a number for one to seven 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 so okay another one oh seven by the way it's here also yeah but uh i can this is also seven Give me four. another number. Four. Four? Four? Okay, so uh, here's one, two, three, four. All right, so we can go here or here. Yes, and? Five. Sweet. Um, so here's our progression. Now to build the chords, at least the basic tried chords, we can just start. I'm going to hold the option and just drag these notes up. So skip a note, skip a note. Okay, that already sounded. <laughs> um, 
so now we have a basic progression uh, what was it one seven four five if you want to go with theory that's what it's going to look like in a minor right it's already there um now what uh, we can do is is we can start uh, working with these chords to do a bunch of stuff so first of all the most basic thing is to add another root note octave below here we go now if you want to expand on that we can load uh, also the fifth so we just count one two three four five here we go it's the fifth usually it's seven semitones if you guys remember but because we are now scaled the clip um we it's five it's the fifth it's actually the fifth it's the fifth degree of the scale we only see the degrees of the scale in this case um nice so sweet so here's the fifth as well now if you want to keep it authentic i would stop here because um, most of the synths they used for this type of styles were limited with the amount of voices of notes that they can play so six is a good number you can also go to your synth and limit the amount of voices to six okay but like the home that track that we played that i like so much um he goes crazy there you don't have to essentially stop at only six notes so let's add more okay uh we can add the seventh of the chords you don't have to add on all of them but it does kind of give us this more kind of spacey dreamy vibe um so again if you want to add another note on the chord it's just skipping a note here's the seven So this was a dominant chord, right? It was a bit tense, which is fine. We can leave it or we can start working with them. Now, you don't have to, we'll start a voice leading in a second. I'll make it simple. You don't have to stop there. I can add more. After seven, what do we have? The nine. Let's make it a bit more filtered. Uh, we don't want this also. Right, so... We'll talk about this in a second. Here's the uh, the nine, the nine here. Okay, if you want, and you can continue. Okay, it's up to you. Nice. So let's keep it simple right now with just the sevens. Okay, and I'll delete these for now, so it also looks a bit more uh, manageable here. Okay. Uh, on the scene is limited to say yeah we limited to six did we we did which is fine Aaron by the way Aaron asked if now you like the voices are still in each other because they're limited which can create cool stuff but thank you for reminding me back at eight okay nice now voice leading is essentially just moving notes up and down octaves uh, to make them uh, uh, move less distance to the next note so for example in this first chord I have G and in the next chord I have G down here Okay, so I'll do this. Um, also this, I'll bring it closer, closer. Now you can play with this, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but this is voice leading where the chords don't, or your hands, when you play them, they don't move much. Okay, everything is a kind of smoother transition between chords. Nice. Now, our second chord we said is a dominant, which is kind of harsh. So let's move this. We'll move it to a different note. It can be here, which is the nine. It's the six. Right, whatever you want. Sweet. Let's add some reverb and delay. Uh, before we move on. let's load some delay here whoops delay just a basic delay we don't need the echo right now and uh let's do something like this okay maybe quarter notes 
syncopated. Okay, nice. Now, uh, it doesn't have to end there. We can also do some sus chords. Suspended chords is essentially taking the second note or the third uh, uh, interval of the chord and suspending it below or above, sus2 or sus4. The main goal of suspended chords is they don't really give us a, a clue if the chord is a minor or major. So they sound very open and spacious because of that. So if I want to make a sus chord, I'm taking the second note of the chord and I'm moving it up or down. Okay? Usually, it will just resolve to the regular chord, but you can keep it sus also if you want. Okay, now because we did this voice leading, it's going to be a bit trickier to know, you know, what's our uh, root note or what's our second chord. So let's just bring it back to the original position. I think we were here. Yeah, this, right? So this is our, we can put it here. We can put it here. Right, this would take up. Um, so, a uh, suspended chord as well. You don't have to do these transitions. You can just use them. Nice. Now, when it comes to the rhythm of the chords, it's really, uh, you don't have to, you can do this. You can do like syncopated, like this. Okay, you can even do, uh, we heard this in the old school. Okay, you can do this, whatever you want. It's really up to you. Uh, right now, we'll keep it open, like just going like this. Let's add our bass. So if we go back to the bass, which will make more sense, reinforce the harmony. Um, what did we had? A, going to F, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And then I think D, and then I think it was E. Was it? Nice. Um, now, we're right now changing the chords and stuff on the beat. It doesn't have to be like this. You can be more syncopated. Maybe something like that. I'm using shift left and right arrow keys to change the length of the highlighted notes. But right, we can also do something like this. And let's uh, do also with our bass the same. So here we're just syncopating. And... Uh, starting every other chord half a beat before. Let's turn down the drums for now. And the second chord, was it F? What did we do here? No, it was yeah. G. I think it was G, the second chord, so this is not... Okay, nice. Uh, excellent. We can work more on the sound to add more kind of lo-fi. Let's just add one more. Uh, so I don't want to spend too long on the kind of the advanced making your own because we have these plugins. Okay, making them a bit more lo-fi. Even our drums, I want to make more. Okay, nice. So uh, chord progression, keep it simple, but uh, do change the octaves of the notes to uh, do voice leading, okay? Uh, very kind of part of the style. And this is four chords. You can do three chords. You can do two chords. And uh, you can have like two chords, do like two chords in the verse, and then uh, you can do uh, four chords in the chorus, for example, okay? And we might come back to this, do a second section. I want to go through all the elements first before... Uh, we do different sections, okay? So chord progressions, uh, you can add them as this kind of like one hit uh, uh, chords. Uh, you can also add a pad. I did include one of my presets for like an old school vintage pad from, I believe it was here, this one, right? Is it? So let's copy our chords there. Was it this?
This one? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was something from here. Let's take an octave lower. Let's uh, filter it even more. Band pass. Let's load uh, our sidechain. I will use the Ableton Live 8 compressor, why not? And sidechain into the sidechain track, turn this down, uh, play with the drill. Okay, um, nice. And we can also add more, like a plucky uh, sound that plays the chords. Whatever, we can have a chord jumping between sus and not sus, kind of like more 80s, old school style. But uh, I want to move on to a very important element, and we might come back to the chords if we need. Any questions? Okay. Uh, overall, this to take from it is that it should be simple, and you should take just famous chord progression, and it should be enough. Okay. It should, nothing too crazy here when it comes to the chord progression. Most maybe use the Dorian scale. That's all. Okay. If you want to explore that major sixth kind of vibe. Um, okay. Most important thing I would say in this entire style is arpeggiation. Okay. Uh, it can be manual, as we mentioned, or you can use uh, arpeggiator uh, uh, effects. Now, let me, let me move here. Let me uh, load an arpeggiator here. We're going to copy the chords. This is not what we're going to do. We're going to copy the chords first just to hear what it sounds like. Okay, so we're going to bring the chords up. Okay, that's not what we want, obviously. Let's first of all make a basic sound here for an arpeggiator. So I'm going to make, again, a bright sound. You'll see a lot of them are saw waves that are filtered and have a plucky uh, volume envelope that is also mapped to the filter. Let's make it monophonic. Maybe we'll make add some unison. And 24 dB per octave. Nice, let's add some reverb. And some delay. Delay, um, there's not many, they're all kind of crazy presets. I'm sure there's a preset here we can find that is maybe this one. Okay, let's add another oscillator, a square wave, layer it maybe an octave lower. Let's add some chorus. Um, so delay reverb chorus. That's like, that's the style when it comes to the effects. Delay reverb chorus. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do this quick. We don't need to spend time on this, but if you want to make your own pitch drift, kind of make it more analog vibe, you can use the vibrato right here, the vibrato. Okay. Then you can take an LFO. LFO, set it to random, give it some smooth, and map it to the rate, okay, to the speed of the um, wobbling of the, let's speed it up. Uh, let's say I set the depth so it's only around here and the offset, you see where it is, something like that. And then I'm going to load another LFO and make it also random, a bit faster, and map it to the speed of this, L uh, of this LFO that is, let's say, turn down the de depth, let's bring up the smooth. So it's just a fancy way of making like more analog kind of randomization.